Another fight that was recently announced in America was uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Andre Berto. To the disappointment of some fans, um, listening to Floyd Mayweather obviously justifying his reasons in interviews recently, but what is your thoughts on that? Um, well, the channel has broadcast, well, in the last six or two, three years, done most of, well, did nearly all these fights, except the last one, which was quite disappointing considering we put quite a sizable offering. Um, his last fight, Berto, um, they say it's his last fight, I'm quite sure it won't be his last fight, but he's, you know, it's, it's, it's his last fight under the Showtime deal, takes him to 49 and 0. Um, it's not been well received by the media or the public, I think we all agreed on that. Um, are we interested? Yeah, of course we're interested in Floyd Mayweather fights, but obviously the fight has to have a value, and what the value is um, at the moment we don't know, but if it, if it matches what we think it is, we'll make a bid for it. Um, the fact that George Groves will fight on the, on the undercard for the world title against Barry Jack. Is that well, that from Britain adds a bit of spice to it, doesn't it? Yeah. I think more people would be interested in that fight than the Floyd Mayweather fight in this country, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so we'll, we'll wait news on that. Um, so, obviously, with Box Nation, what we're we going into nearly four years now? End of September, it's fourth birthday. Birthday. Yeah, I mean it just flies around, doesn't it? We've been here, go we've been going now for four years. It's uh, it's been onwards and upwards. It's been, you know, you heard me harp on about how difficult it's been, but it's we've turned the corner. Um, we've invested a lot of money in this, both in Queensbury and in the channel, and it's uh, obviously cost a lot of money. And and, and you know we've we've had a lot. Of, as the investment has been a loss, that, you know, as, as such as far as accounts are concerned. But now. Uh, we're moving into profit. We're moving into a profit area, and uh, the next, you know, from now on, um, the channel's going to get is going to get bigger and bigger as will our promotions. Um, we've turned turned a corner on it, and we're you know, fingers crossed, we're looking for some seriously big, bigger fights and, on the channel and more bigger domestic shows. And people said it would have folded after a year. Well, they did, but it was tough, you know, uh, it, it was tough. And as I say, the investment that's been made into it has been tremendous. I mean, you know, my, my family's invested a lot of money. Um, you know, my partner, Bill Ives, has invested a lot of money in, in it as well. So it's, uh, it's, but it's no different as, than Chelsea had done. You know, when Roman Abramovich, I know it's a much smaller model, but when he got, when he got involved in Chelsea, he put a fortune into Chelsea. Chelsea now make a profit. And it took a long while for them to do it. We've had to, you know, in, in, in our boxing terms, we've had to put a lot of money into this to get it where it's at. And that's been pure start-up investment. You know, Roman Bradrich took over a club that had, you know, a fan base. We started a boxing channel with zero subscribers and putting shows on the channel, you know, with, with no payment coming into the, to, to, uh, to, um, the business. But now that's, uh, you know, that's all changed. Up. When Box Nation first started, I remember obviously that initial press conference you had, I think it was at the the O2. Um, yeah. Everyone lined up at the top. I remember that, and there was an idea of obviously having a lot of domestic shows. Yeah. Um, since then, the overseas content has been phenomenal, and yeah. I don't think any boxing fan can disagree with that. But moving forward, um, would you like to have obviously more domestic? I think, I think shows on the, I, I think on the channel. I hear what you're saying. I think we're going. For, we're trying to go for quality rather than quantity. And to say, you know, September we've got a, a you know, we've got a, a shooting off and Buglioni is. I think it's a good, a, a cracking fight. Um, Jamie Cox against Kamiski is a good fight, and the rest of the fights on the card at Wembley. We talked about uh, what's happening in October in Manchester on the 30th of October. We've got another domestic fight, Mitchell Smith and Jupiter. Um, Harrow Leisure Centre. It's a cracking little show. November we've got. Uh, we're doing a show in Dublin. We're doing a couple of shows in London, and December we'll be doing a big show again up north. So that's not bad for us for what we're doing. And also we'll be putting on a couple of your calls, slipping them in there, which uh, we'll announce in due course. So domestic fights, we'll you know we'll get there and do what we've got to do. Um, and overseas, we're in the market to buy the best and show the best fights around, from around the world to Box Nation viewers. I mean, that's, that's, that's the concept. It's a boxing channel, that's all we do. We don't do any other sports. We are boxing. That's what it says on the tin, on the label. And uh, that's what we endeavour to do, deliver the best. There's a couple of notable fights overseas coming up. Um, 
Golovkin and De Lemieux, which is on the I think seventeenth of yeah. October, and also Canelo Cotto, which is not done yet but should be done for November. Um, the fights that I'm assuming Box Nation will be interested in. We're interested in everything that's out there. You know, everything that's out there. That's what, what that's what Box Nation do. They they're in, they're in the business of buying fights. Uh, my son George is in the driving seat with that. He's he, he buys he buys the overseas fights and he's you know in, up to now I think he's delivered well for the subscribers. We've had some great fights and great names over the years. He's now CEO of um, of uh, a channel and also of um, uh, Queensbury. The business is emerging. Uh, Jim McMahon is still the MD is the MD of, um, of Box Nation. So they're a, you know they're a good team. They're working hard to deliver the best for the subscribers and you know and, and we're looking the best to do. To, Deliver some of the best domestic fights, which I think we're, you know, we we are doing. So, um, and we will continue to do. And all these fights that are taking place in September, September and October, they're leading us to what we're going to be doing in the, at the end of the year and the beginning of the year. If all our guys come through and win, then uh, it sets up some even bigger fights. But Cassis and Hilda still stays, right? Yeah, I suppose we're slot. I mean, yeah, of course we can. I mean, you, do, you guys do a great job. We'll we we keep you on uh, keep you on board. And you know, you you and James do a good job, as does uh, Steve Steve Bunce and Steve Lewis and all the guys um, who work for Box Nation. That's good to hear. We talk numbers later, Frank. What numbers? What do you mean? You know, what are you after? Oh, well, renewals up soon. You know, I think uh, I might chuck in that that. We look for a raise. Raise, or you can give me that. I'll ask for that. Stand on the chair. <laughs> Tough negotiator, you are, Frank. Yeah. I don't think you never negotiate with anyone. I, I negotiate they with are, George, he actually. Over, he overpays you. Who, George they, does. You're, you're overpaid. Could you, you weren't doing a deal with me? <laughs> well, worse still, Andy A. Then, because you know. <laughs> oh, you sure? <laughs> Go on, carry on. Um, but um, like I said, so four years coming up. Um, in four years' time from now, you're confident that. You'll still be here and... Well, look, four years has gone like that. Yeah. I mean, it's flown, it, I mean, time flies really quick and it has flown by. I and mean, I'm sure another four years will go even quicker. Who knows where we'll be then? I mean, we're looking, you know, everything's evolving. You know, the whole, the way people digest the product, the way they watch it, they watch it on, and I think we talked about this before, people, you know, they watch it on a tablet, they watch it on their phone, they watch it on their computers, they'll stream it. It's all different ways for people now to watch what we what we put together. So, in four years' time, who knows where that's going to go? I mean, four years' time, is Sky going to have the Premier League still? You know, is somebody else going to come in and buy it? Who knows what's going to happen in four years' time? We'll be there, but we because we we own our own product. But it's how people watch it at the moment. Um, that's what we're really focusing on: how to you know get it out there. You know, get our brand out there and then get it to more people. We are we are going to be announcing um, very very soon that we're uh, going to be start broadcasting in India and uh, a couple of the uh, Eastern European countries. We've been working very hard on that, so that that'll be happening and uh, and that's really where we're going to just roll it out overseas and and improve it, you know improve the content, improve improve the production, and really work hard at at doing that and, uh, and I think that's important for the subscribers for the viewers to get the best that we can do and you know and, and that's what we really work hard at doing the whole team does you should send me out to India why? well because Sri Lanka's near India and that's where I'm from and uh, I could establish myself as a bit of a cult hero out there what? a cult hero I'm sorry we're a bit dyslexic or something do you think I said something else? Yeah, no, no I'm not on this is, I hope it's going out after the watershed this this just goes out when it is, people take it for what it is, but... Uh, no, I'm quite sure you are, I'm quite sure you are, yeah. so why not? Yeah. Why not? I could run your, I could run your Box Nation division in India. Or, or Sri Lanka. Or Sri Lanka. Colombo. Colombo, you know about the Colombo, no, Ceylon tea. Yeah, Ceylon tea. You know about that. Yeah, I do. Frank, do you know... Samuel Tomegas. Oh my God, yeah. we're going political now. Yeah.